Hi, let me introduce our team. We are from Department of Electrical Engineering, Universitas Diponegoro, Indonesia, and our research title is High Voltage Impulse Generator with Ignition Coil. In electrical power engineering, the engineer considers that high voltage is a voltage that has value 600 volt up to 1000 volt. These high voltage are categorized into three types, namely DC, IC, and impulse voltage. One of the high voltage forms that is still rarely to produce and use is high voltage impulse. High voltage impulse is a type of high voltage with a wave characteristic that has a short run duration, ranging from fractional values with a unit of microsecond to several tens of microsecond, and then decreases slowly towards zero. There are some methods that can be used to produce the high voltage impulse, such as RLC circuit, MARS generator, and flyback converter generator. However, in fact, all of high voltage impulse generator devices are less efficient to use because Usually as a huge and complex system, difficult to use, expensive, and usually used in a laboratory. Therefore, the simple and portable high voltage impulse generator device that easy to bring and use anywhere are needed. This is what our product looks like outside. We can see some parts or components such as power supply cable indicated with the white cable. The two black cables indicate the output cable with red alligator clip as high voltage output and the black one is ground. Then MCB1 and 2, toggle switch and DC voltage input with variable knob. The inside part contains buck boost converter, power supply, battery, switching system with IC555 and solid state relay, and also the main part, ignition coil. We go on to the block diagram and working principles. This is the block diagram of our system. The system is mainly supplied by one phase AC voltage around 220 volt. The AC is converted to the DC with power supply. We get the 12 volt DC voltage here. The buck boost converter will convert the various voltages from 0 to 12 volt. We limit this based on the ignition coil, but actually the converter can reach more than 12 volt. After we get the DC voltage that can be varied, we should make this DC voltage become a square wave. It is the most important thing. We need square wave as the representative of the switching system high and low. This high-low process is needed because the ignition coil can only be worked if the input is discrete. High, low, get a voltage and ground periodically. Basically, the ignition coil is just a step-up transformer and the transformer cannot be worked with straight DC voltage. The switching system is worked by IC555 and solid state relay. The IC555 will receive the straight DC voltage and convert it to square wave. With resistors and capacitors applied, we get 100.5 Hz switching. The square wave is then transmitted to a solid state relay to connect and disconnect the input voltage to the ignition coil. Ignition coil will step up the 0 to 12 volt DC to high voltage with the impulse form. Finally, we will get the high voltage impulse that can be observed physically on the electrode by seeing the sparks. Quantitative view can be observed with an oscilloscope to see the waveform of high voltage impulse. First, make sure the power outlet has 220 volt AC. And then, attach the high voltage terminal and ground terminal into the electrode. Plug the power socket into the power outlet. Turn on MCB1. Adjust the DC voltage input by turning the knob. Turn on the TS switch. And then, turn on MCB2. And as you can see, spark will appear on the electrode as shown in the video.
to turn off the generator, first turn off MCB2, turn off the TS switch, and then turn off the bug boost converter and MCB1. Input and output data of high voltage input generator. From the table, when the input voltage variation are 1 volt and 2 volt DC, it doesn't give output results including spark because the electrical energy is not strong enough to make a discharge from the high voltage terminal to the ground terminal. When we given an input voltage is 7 volt DC, the system can generate 31.4 kV high impulse voltage. And then, because of the limitations on the measurement tools, when we given an input voltage of 9 volt to 12 volt DC, the resulting output input voltage has saturation readings at interval of 30 until 33.8 kV high impulse voltage. Based on the graph, the input voltage is proportional to the resulting impulse voltage with the characteristic of a significant spike occurring at the input voltage of 3 volt to 4 volt DC. In addition, the input-output voltage relation is proportional but not linear. High voltage impulse can be utilized for some application. For example, food processing like potato, fruits, and some other liquid products. It also can be used for carbon oxygen reduction and ozone production. Conclusion we have successfully done our project which can generate 31.4 kV high voltage impulse with a 7 volt DC input. The switching system uses 100.5 Hz frequency. There are some advantages and potential application of our product that's possible to be implemented. That's all from our team. Thank you for work Young Inventors Exhibition Malaysia 2023 that has held this great event. See you and thank you.